Hi learners, Miss Griffith. I have another reading lesson for you today. This is going to be Sunday Reading 8. The first step is to read sounds. I have sound cards here. I am going to try to show you what error correction would look like every step of the lesson today so that for the parents that are watching, if you're doing an activity similar to this at home, you may have or want some guidance on how to help your learner if they're making mistakes throughout the um, activity. D. Er. N. Z. T. So if this was a letter that your learner is mispronouncing or saying um, an incorrect letter sound, so if someone saw this letter and said, Ch, you might say, hmm, that doesn't sound quite right. Listen to me say this letter. Ch. The more you can overpronounce it or the clearer you can be when you are saying the letter sound, the better. After you say it once, you may have the student do it with you. With you. Can you say the letter sound with me? T. And then you would try to have the learner say the correct letter sound on their own. So the idea is to follow I do, so the teacher does it. We do, so the teacher and the learner would do it together. And then they do, so the learner would do it by themselves. That is how error correction for a letter sound might look. J E Y W E A U Now that we are done reading sounds, we are going to spell sounds. So I am going to be the one dictating or saying the letter sound, and the learners would be responsible for writing the letter that makes that sound. So if I said the letter X, and your learner wrote a K, or if you were making that X sound at home and your learner wrote a K, you might say, hmm, listen again. I'm saying X. If they hear the sound correctly on the second time and erase that K in order to make it an X, that would be wonderful. Something that you can give them that may be helpful is you can give them a alphabet chart to maybe show them all of the letters of the alphabet and say, okay, I want your eyes to look down here. Which of these letters says the letter, or excuse me, says the sound X? That would narrow down their choices that might be beneficial in correcting their errors as well. All right, so if they have the correct letter down, we would continue to move on. W. A. I'm just going to go ahead and stop there for the sake of time. 
The purpose is for the students to work on hearing sounds and writing the letter that makes that sound. After reading sounds and spelling sounds, it then comes to reading words. The words that I am going to target today with my word cards are the A-Y words and the E words. And I'm going to try to show you what an error correction would look like for these words as well. Peel, keep, heal, Seen, beat, feed, peep, see, beef, be. Okay, so this word here, this word is feet. If you were showing a word like this, and let's say your learner might have said fat instead of feet. I'm going to show you one way that might be helpful to work with them on it. So this is the word here. There are four letters in this word. F-E-E-T. The E and the E like to stay together. So, I'm going to show you what that looks like. The F makes one sound on its own. The E and the E make another sound on or together they do. And then the T makes one sound on its own. Can you make the letter, can you make the F sound for me? They would then make that F sound. Now we know that one E says eh. What does two E's say? If the learner is not able to get, get what two letter, or excuse me, what two letter E's say when they're put together, you can help them. E, can you say it with me? E. And what does this letter say? T. Let's put it all together now. F e T. Feet. By breaking down the word into these boxes by the sounds, it is something that could help learners who may struggle with a word. Now, after reading your word or reading words, you can work on spelling words with your learner. I'm going to stick with the A-Y and the E-E -E words because those are the words I worked on during the reading portion. May. Lay. Say. So, for example, if you said the word say to your learner and they wrote the letter S and the letter Y, one thing you could do to help them correct their error is break it down and say it sound by sound. So you would say, okay, I'm going to go more slowly now. They would write down the letter S. And then you could maybe draw two lines so that your learner knows that there are two letters that work together to make one sound. A. What two letters work together to make that A sound? Hopefully they would remember then that it is the A-Y. 
That is one way that you can help your learner if they are making mistakes. I hope this, help, this lesson was helpful for everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.